up on Lake Michigan, I remember trying my hardest to catch a glimpse of the other side, daydreaming about how long it would take to get across. Crossing the lake was instilled in the imagination since childhood. Eric and I met each other in college and have sought adventure ever since. He's the one person I would trust when doing the unthinkable. In 2018, we attempted a 79 mile crossing of Lake Michigan on a paddleboard for our first time. Only to be kicked off the lake six miles from shore by high waves and an electrical storm with the finish line in sight. Lake Michigan does not just give you a free pass. It was something we couldn't let go of and had to attempt again. The first paddle had knocked us down, but gave us some valuable experience. With a better understanding of what to expect, we felt ready to give it a second shot. Even though our weather window wasn't perfect, we saw an opportunity and didn't hesitate. Our crew met us in St. Joe, Michigan, where we planned to leave at 5 p.m and paddle through the calm of the night. Or so we thought. Once we left the pierheads, it was apparent that conditions were not ideal and the lake was fairly choppy. The size of the waves put us on edge, but we knew we had to continue on. The biggest takeaway from our first attempt was the ability to adapt to the unpredictability of the lake. We knew that even with all the state-of-the-art technology and weather models, there was still no chance of forecasting what was happening in the middle of Lake Michigan. We had no other choice but to switch up our game plan, and instead of paddling in 60-minute blocks at a time, we would have to paddle in 90-minute intervals so as to cut down on breaks. We also shortened our breaks to about five to seven minutes for food and hydration. Oh, and make sure that that two to three foot wave doesn't knock you off as you relieve yourself. We were given beta by a Great Lakes legend, Joe Bidawid, who was the first to paddle across Lake Michigan on the very route we were on. He recommended to leave at night and once you were five miles offshore, the bright lights of Chicago would guide you through the darkness. We did not have that same experience and prepared for one of the longest nights of our lives. The first sight of the sun illuminating the sky was monumental. The waves had begun to subside and we could finally see further than three feet in front of our boards. Still no Chicago skyline in sight as the clouds that blocked out the moon all night surrounded us. Breaks during the night were taxing as the waves would push us from the boat into ominous blackness. They would roll you and your board from every angle, trying to knock you off. Daybreak lifted our spirits, and we soaked up as much of the sunrise while refueling before we continued on. It would be misleading if we said we enjoyed paddling through that night. After enduring 12 hours and shrouded in fog and darkness, we were finally able to enjoy our journey. Even though we were completely exhausted and ready to eat anything other than a dry cliff bar, our energy was the highest of the entire trip. The crew erupted in excited cheers as skyscrapers on the Chicago skyline began to peek out from behind the dissipating clouds. It was a sight we had dreamed of while paddling throughout the night.
refreshed ourselves and celebrated our accomplishment by taking a dip in Lake Michigan's crystal blue waters. 62 miles later, we had crossed the big lake. Neither of us really knew what to say as we paddled beneath Soldier Field and the Chicago skyline. It was a surreal moment, to say the least. When asked why we wanted to paddle across Lake Michigan, there really is no better answer than freedom. It's absolutely exhausting to paddle for 62 miles, 17 hours, staying afloat in two to three foot waves with the majority of the trip in darkness. But for those 17 hours, you are isolated from the outside world, surrounded on all sides by water with no land in sight. You're working with close friends to accomplish one goal. Completely focused and determined. Taking a day to dive deeper into our existence in this life. 